Hi everyone, thank you for joining me again today. Today's video is a crochet top tutorial video for a new design that I created. Now, I was inspired by two people and one thing to create this design. First person I was inspired by was Sabrina Melogis, and I'll put her link in the description box. A while back, she created a bag that she called the Bag of Madness, and it has to do with this pandemic that's going around the entire world. In the bag, she used the stitch Jacob's Ladder. I joined in on her crochet along and I made a bag. I showed my hubby and he said, why don't you make a top using that stitch? So the wheel started turning. So I decided that yes, I would do that. So I grabbed some yarn, started working on something. It didn't work out. So I went, you know, started doing something a little different. And I, I was thinking about colors. What color should I use? I decided to use navy blue because apparently it means calm. And then the other color I used was the color that means hope. I googled it and that's the color yellow. And because of the Stitch Jacob's Ladder, I decided to call this sweater the Ladder of Hope. Because there's always hope. And we're going to pull through. All right, thank you. So let's get started. The yarn I'm using for this sweater is Red Heart Fashion Soft. 141 grams, 381 yards. It's in navy. It's a lightweight three. Recommended hook size is a four millimeter. But I used a 4.5. This is machine wash and dry. I used a ball that I had already started for something else. I used the rest of that in part of another one. I think if you make this, um, it's good to have two balls on hand. It's 100% acrylic. So that's that one. And for the other color, I used Karen Simply Soft. Now I do not have the label, but I looked it up online. It's a medium four, requires a five millimeter hook. I used a 4.5. It's 100% acrylic. It's machine washable and dryable. 170 grams, 315 yards, and it has a sheen to it. Um, there are a few different shades of yellow that Karen Simply Soft makes. I don't know which shade this is. I just know it's yellow. This top is worked from the bottom up. We're going to work in multiples of five plus two. I am going to chain 90 plus two. And this is about a size medium. If you'd like it smaller or larger, chain less, chain more. I'll meet you at the end of the chain. Now we are going to make three rows of double crochets. Yarn over, make a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. And 
and then make a double crochet in each chain all the way to the end. And then I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what to do to start row two. When you get to the end of row one, you want to chain three, one, two, three, turn your work, make a double crochet, not in this stitch because this chain three counts as a double crochet. We're going to go into the next stitch and do a double crochet. Like that. And then we're going to do a double crochet in every stitch till we get the, to the end of our row. One in every stitch. Now I'm coming to the end of row two. So I want to do a double crochet here and then a double crochet in the top of the next double crochet from the previous row. And in this chain three that we made, we want to do a double crochet in that as well. Try and get as close to the top as you can get. Okay, now we're going to start row three. We're going to chain three like before. Turn our work. Now remember, don't make a double crochet in this first area because that's this will count as a double crochet. So then we want to go in the next one. Next stitch, make a double crochet, and make a double crochet in every stitch. So we get to the end of this row. Don't forget to make a double crochet in the chain three. We did it this here. Make a double crochet in there and then chain three, turn your work and then continue on just like you did these rows. But I'll meet you at the end of row three. Now I've completed my third row. And I've done the chain to start the fourth row. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count 25 stitches starting with this chain three and I'm going to put a stitch marker in the 25th stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And then I'm going to count, not counting that 25th stitch, but I'm going to count 10 stitches and put another stitch marker. Now remember, I'm not going to count this one, but I put the stitch marker in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Put a stitch marker in the 10th one. Now I'm going to count another 10, not counting this stitch marker. I started the next one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Put a stitch marker in there. And then I'm going to count ten again and put a stitch marker. Not counting this one. 
go the next stitch and start counting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten put a stitch marker there then we're going to do that one more time don't count this one Go the next stitch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And put a stitch marker. Once we get that last stitch marker in, if you count from here to here, we're going to have 25 stitches just like we had one at the other end of the row. And I counted them and there is 25. Make sure you count that chain three on the end as a double crochet, as a stitch. So we have 25. Now I'm going to make 25 double crochets, one in each stitch along here. This chain three counts as a double crochet. So we're gonna go into the next stitch, make a double crochet. So now that's two. And then we'll continue on making double crochets in every stitch till we get to the first stitch marker. I'll meet you at the first stitch marker. Now I've made my 25 double crochets. The first one was the chain three, which counts as one double crochet, and then I made 24 more. Now I'm up to my stitch marker. I can take my stitch marker out, and then I'm gonna make a double crochet in that spot, that stitch. Then I'm going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to put a switch, slip stitch into the bottom of that double crochet. Just two stitches. Slide it in there. Yarn over, pull through, and then pull through again to complete it. And then we're going to do 10 double crochets in the next 10 stitches. That's two. Seven, eight, nine, and I'll take this stitch marker out, and then where we have that stitch marker, that's where we do the tenth double crochet. And then chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then at the bottom of that chain eight, there's a stitch there, and there's a stitch there. We're gonna make a slip stitch right through there, pull through there. And then we go into the next double crochet and we make one in each of the next 10 stitches. That's two, three, four, five, six. I'll 
me you at the next stitch marker. Okay, at the next stitch marker, I'm gonna take this stitch marker out. And I'm gonna put a double crochet where I had that stitch marker and chain eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right at the bottom of that uh, double crochet, two stitches, put your hook through them, pull through the two stitches, pull through that next one on your hook to um, make a slip stitch like we did previously. Now we'll continue making the double crochets, make 10 of them until you get to the stitch marker and do the same thing at the stitch marker that you did at the previous stitch marker points and then again at this stitch marker and then at the end you should have 25 stitches left and do double crochet in each of the 25. I'll meet you at the end. Now at the end of row four, you will have five of these chain eights. When you're finished row four, now we're going to go on to row five, chain three, which counts as a double crochet. Turn your work. You're going to do 25 double crochets. We count the chain three as a double crochet, so that'll be one. Then we go on the next stitch, and we'll do one in every one for another 24, so it is, counting this will be 25. I'll meet you when I get to the 25th one. Okay, I have 23. Double crochets, counting that chain three as the first one. I have three left here to do. So that's twenty-four. And then you see that one right there? Just bend your loop down and make a double crochet in there, chain eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, do your slip stitch at the bottom of that double crochet, in the two loops that's in the front there. Pull through, do a slip stitch. And then you can move that chain eight over just a little. And see this double crochet here? We want to make a double crochet into that. And then we'll continue with our double crochets. So we get to the next loop and we'll do the same thing. Now I put eight double crochets there. Here's my ninth. And just pull that chain eight over. See that stitch right there, put your your 10th double crochet in there, chain 8 like before, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, put your slip stitch in the bottom of that double crochet, pull it through, through there, Move this chain eight loop over from the previous row. Let's 
be this double crochet put a double crochet in the top of that and that'll be your first and then you're going to do another nine and you're going to continue this putting your chain eights beside these ones and then you're going to finish off your row which will be row five and i'll meet you back there so we're at the end of row five. We have two more double crochets to make. One in there. And remember this chain three counts as a double crochet. I'm not going to quite finish it off because this is where we're going to change colors. So I'm going to add my next color. Follow through like that. And then I'm just going to cut this one. And I'm going to tie these together to hold them. And then I'll sew them in after. All right, now we chain three like we did before. And turn our work and then just like before we're going to make the um, 25 double crochets the chain three counts as the first one so this will be two two <laughs> Three, four, five. So continue on until we get to the this chain eight. Okay, now I have three more to make. Okay, where this chain eight is, right in this stitch, we're gonna make a double crochet. We're gonna chain eight. Sorry about that. <laughs> Seriously, hey, I'm not even gonna edit that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make the chain eight. Um, I chained one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then at the bottom of this chain or the top of the double crochet are these two things. I'm just gonna make a slip stitch through there just like we did before in the other two previous rows. Fold that chain eight down. Go in the next double crochet, make a double crochet. And then we're gonna make 10 double crochets, like we did before. And that's three, four, five, six, seven. Chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then make a slip stitch through those two. Like we did before, bend down your your chain eight. Make a double crochet in the next double crochet. And continue on, just like it did in the other rows. And I'll show you what to do on the next row. All right, 
right, so this is what it's looking like. I'm at the end of the sixth row. And this is where I'm going to go back to my other color. So I'm going to do the double crochet into that chain three. Finish only half of it, like in the previous row when you change color. Hook this on, pull it through. And there you've changed color. So now I'm going to cut the yellow. Tie this in a good knot. Oh my goodness, my kitties are playing. I don't know if you could hear them. <laughs> and then we're going to chain three like before, which counts as a double crochet in this case, in every case in this sweater actually. And then we're going to do what we did before. Do the double crochets. So you have 25, which counts that chain three. And then in this stitch, do the chain eight, do the slip stitch, carry on like before, do the exact same thing. Keep doing it so that you have several rows. Um, when I come back on, I'll tell you how many rows I did in the next clip. And I'll show you what to do with these loops. From here on, I'm going to be making one row of yellow and then two rows of navy, one of yellow, two of navy, one of yellow, two of navy. That's just the way I'm doing it. You don't have to do it that way. You can do two rows of yellow, you could do whatever. As long as you're using two different colors and uh, there is a reason for that which I will show you in another clip in this video. All right, so this is just a sample piece, but let's pretend we're all the way to the top of the sweater. We have uh, one row of the yellow, two of the blue, one of the yellow, two of the blue, one of the yellow, two of the blue, all the way up to the top. So, after you do your yellow, do one more blue. And then we're going to do another blue, but we're not going to make the chain eights. So let's do that right now. One, two, three, turn your work. We're just going to make straight double crochets all the way across. So that counts as one. Now I'll do the next one and I'll show you how to do it when we get to the um, chain eights that you're not going to make in this row. So I'll meet you when you get to the, um, the chain eight here. Now I'm coming up to that chain eight. So I'm going to put a double crochet right in that double crochet. And then normally we chain eight here, but now we're not going to. We're just going to make a double crochet in the next double crochet on the other side of that chain eight. And then we're going to continue to making the double crochets all the way to the end of this row. And I'm just 
just going to show you when I get back to this, get up to this next chain eight to show you again what to do. So then here we are, we just fold that chain eight down, go into the double crochet, and then you look on the other side, here's the next double crochet, and you just go into that and make a double crochet. And you just continue on that all the way to the end and I'll show you what to do at the end. Now I'm at the end of the row. Now I'm going to show you what to do with these loops that we made, these chain eights. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the loop above it because we're working this way. going to take the loop above the one below and hook it inside and pull it up. And then we're going to do that with the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one. And the next one, remember we only have one blue one up here. So now they're all secured, except for this one. So what do we do with that one? Well, this is the front of our garment. I usually go by the, the yarn, the starting yarn here to go be on the left side, and that's the front of my garment. It depends what side you like. Some say there's no right side and no wrong side when you're working back and forth. It's whatever you prefer, I think. That's how I go by it. All right, so now what we do, I've turned my work, and then we're going to just do those double crochets that we did before. And then just keep going to do those ones up until you get to the loop up here. Okay, I'll meet you at the loop. Okay, now I've done those double crochets up until up to our little loop here. So now what we want to do is we want to secure that loop. So right directly under that loop is a, a double crochet. We're going to hold that loop under that double crochet because we want to go through the double crochet and we want to go through that loop. So we'll make a double crochet. And then we're going to go through the next double crochet and we're also going to Pull that loop again a little bit over so we can go through the double crochet and through the loop again. This is not the same double crochet we just went through, but the next one and do a double crochet. Okay, now let's do the next double crochet and take a look at how that looks. So here it is, that double crochet, I mean that, sorry, that chain eight is connected by two double crochets. So it's nice and sturdy, this is not going to come apart. Remember this is the ladder of hope, we don't want it to fail. Alright, so then you just continue on with that. Same way with all your rows of uh, chain eights. And then when you get to the end here, 
you chain the three, turn around, go back, and just do double crochets, double crochets back and forth until you have enough um, to match up what you put on the bottom, or you can do more, or you can do less. It depends on how long you want your sweater. Okay, and I will meet you at the next step once you've completed all your double crochets that you want to make, all the rows you want to make. Now the back of the sweater, you're going to start the same way you started the front. You're going to do a chain. My chain is sh shorter than the front one. There's a reason for that. The front one um, wraps around the sides of you and then the back just fits right across your back, straight across. That way the front will have a bit of a drape at the neckline. Okay, so I chained 72, I believe, for the back. Um, it does not have to be in any kind of multiples because all it is is double crochet. Do double crochet, double crochet, all the way up to the top. For the front and back, I did a total of 40 rows. And then I turned it inside out and I sewed across the shoulder on both sides, of course. And I left an opening here and sewed the two pieces together at the side. So that's for your arm. Now I'm going to finish off the sweater by doing a single crochet all the way around the bottom and around the armholes. Um, I'm actually going to leave the neckline the way it is because I think it looks fine the way it is. Okay, so let's do... Single crochet, slip knot, pull it through, chain one, and do a single crochet. All the way around, as close as you can get it to the edge. Just to give it a finished off neat look. That's my cats, if you can hear that. <laughs> They're just playing. That just gives it a nicer, nicer look than over here, I think. Just continue doing that all the way around and then around the uh, armholes.